that's another USP for you if you're a little bit weird like I am. I wish I could pass you guys these through the screen so that you can feel how soft they are. So if you're one of the big head gang like I am, then it'll probably fit you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So spring is in full swing and there's something about the season that always makes me want to get all dolled up. So I thought for this video I would do a spring beauty and hair care haul featuring the Vintage Cosmetic Company. I did a similar haul last year and they were kind enough to gift me a few more items which I wanted to share with you guys, so let's get started. So before I jump in, I just wanted to mention the packaging, which is one of my absolute favourite things about the Vintage Cosmetic Company. I think one of the things that makes me like drawn to a company is when they put so much thought into like every part of the design process, like even the packaging. So the Vintage Cosmetic Company always use really pretty packaging, they've got these lovely pink boxes as you can see here, and then inside they always put this lovely pink tissue paper which is really nice because it's kind of like you kind of reveal the gifts or the pieces as you open the box and it's kind of like a little bit more of a surprise even if you ordered them yourself. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys is this lovely makeup headband which is in a lovely pink cherry print and I have one of these already but I don't know if they've like upgraded the materials but this is like the softest thing I've ever seen like I think the one that I had previously is like a polka dot one and it's kind of in this like regular toweling fabric but this is really just like soft and plush it's one of those pieces that you just want to stroke forever and ever and I absolutely love it. So with this I think the idea is that to use it when you're putting on your makeup I actually used it when I was doing my makeup earlier I don't know if you guys can see from there but I actually managed to get quite a lot of makeup all over it but thinking about it that's actually a good thing because that means that all of the makeup that I now have all over this would have been makeup that I had in my hair and it's just one of those nice ways that you can keep your hair kind of clean and tidy while you're getting your face sorted and then you can do your hair afterwards so to put this on obviously you just take off the packaging and then you slip it over your head and then kind of have it sit just here on your hairline um, another great thing that you can use this for is when you're washing your face I think I mentioned this in my last um, Vintage Cosmetic Company haul but I'm really odd I don't like getting my hairline wet or getting my hair wet if I'm not washing it so generally when I'm washing my face I'll put one of these on just to keep my hair protected from the water and also from the like I don't know harsh chemicals that could be in your face wash that aren't necessarily meant to be put on the hair so this sells for $7.99 which I think is a really good price it's really soft like I said seems like it's really good quality it seems like it will last a really long time it's one of those ones where it's like super stretchy like I said so it doesn't kind of like push on your temples and cause discomfort so I'll link this for you guys in the description in case you'd like to pick one up for yourselves so the next pretty piece is this lovely hair turban which is in the same cherry print as the piece that I just showed you. Um, I already have one of these as well which is in a polka dot pattern and that thing is like one of the best things that I've ever bought in my life. So I actually think I discovered hair turbans a few years ago. I picked one up I think it was from Cantu and it's made of microfiber just like this one is so it's supposed to be like really good for like keeping your hair moisturised and not having it get damaged. But that one kind of served my purpose for a while but it's a grey and grey isn't one of my colours so I was kind of on the lookout for a prettier one which is what I initially got the polka dot one that I just told you about but this one is even more of an upgrade I just love like colours and pink and cherries and I just think it's so pretty and so feminine so these are super super handy and I'd say they're one of my favourite hair care tools so again with this I don't know if they've had some sort of like upgrade in terms of the design but this is I swear a lot softer than the one that I've actually got that's a polka dot pattern so this is probably going to be my new fave and just in case you guys aren't familiar with these the idea is that there is a little elasticated loop which just sits here on the front and you just kind of like pop it on your head and then there are little buttons at the back so you can kind of hook the loop around one of the buttons and that's how it stays on your head and it's just super secure and super handy to have when you're washing your hair. So this sells for $9.99 which I think again is a really good price. Um, the great thing about the Vintage Cosmetic Company as well is that they often have discount codes so you can kind of save yourself a couple of quid which is always really nice because I'm a bargain queen like I think I mentioned in a previous video. So I'll link this for you guys in the description as well so you can pick one up for yourselves too. Next up is these bendy rollers which I feel like some of you guys are probably familiar with because they're very very popular like especially in YouTube tutorials and I actually have some of these already but I can never find them and also the ones that I have are in really like random and not necessarily ugly colours, just colours that I wouldn't necessarily go for. So I think some of them are grey, which is again not one of my colours. Some of them are orange, some of them are pink. And I just think they look a little bit crazy when you kind of like put them all together in your hair. And I kind of wanted some that are a bit more, I guess, like coordinated because colour coordination is my thing, as you can probably see from like my outfit in the background behind me. So that's why I picked these out. So in case you guys haven't seen these before, they're kind of like a modern day alternative to the foam rollers that some of your mums and maybe grandmums used to use back in the day. And also I forget what they're called, but you know the ones where they're kind of like they've got felt from on them. Um, they're a good and alternative for those as well. I've tried those ones before and maybe if you had straight hair they'd work really well for you but I found that because my hair is quite curly 
um, the little kind of like spirals in my curl were just getting like hooked in the Velcro and it just caused a lot of breakage and a lot of like pain. So I wanted an alternative that was a little bit more smooth and kind of went in line with my hair type a bit more. So I haven't actually tested these out yet. I was hoping to do like a lovely curly hairstyle for you guys to show you kind of like the results, but my hair wasn't cooperating, but I will try and film a hair tutorial and post that. So keep an eye out for that in case that's something you're interested in. I love little tools like this as well because I don't straighten my hair or use heat in general. And it's just a really good way to get a curly hairstyle without causing heat damage. So with these, they come in a pack of 12, which I think is actually the perfect number because my hair is like, I'd say it's quite thick. These I think like are just a really great number, like I said, to cover your whole head, especially if you've got a lot of hair like I have. In terms of the price, they retail for $6.99. And I was actually really shocked when I saw that because I think that is an amazing price for these. Some of you guys might be like, oh, I've seen them for cheaper. But I think with these, you generally get what you paid for. And these are like massively expensive, but equally they're not like the cheapest ones you can get. In terms of the cheapest ones you can get, I bought some from Wilco. I think they were like, one pound for a pack of six and I love Wilco but let me just tell you there's a reason they're one pound for a pack of six so with these I would say spend a little bit more just to get like the quality um the ones that I bought from Wilco were just like very flimsy almost a bit too flexible and I felt like my hair was kind of like fighting with a roller so obviously I didn't get really good results like I said I haven't tried these yet but I'm expecting great results based on how they feel in terms of the quality so I'll link these for you guys in the description as well Moving on, we have these lovely section in hair clips, which I have wanted these for the longest time. Now, I actually have a couple of these already. I think I got a pack that had two pink ones and two leopard print ones. Leopard print I'm a bit funny with. I think on an accessory it can look really cute, but I won't lie to you, it's not one of my favourite patterns. So I kind of wanted to get either more pink ones, like the plain pink ones that I already have, or these floral ones, and I've been eyeing up these ones for ages. So like the name suggests, these are really great for creating hairstyles that have a lot of sections, so like things like box braids for example, or even things like this hairstyle that I've got on currently. So as you can see I've got this kind of like twist going along the front and then the rest of my hair is in this lovely bun. And I used them this morning as I was trying to do my hair, just to keep like my hair clipped out of place. Because there's nothing worse than when you're kind of like trying to do a hairstyle and it's supposed to be one of those hairstyles where the parts are meant to be neat and you end up picking up bits of hair from like other sections. These are really handy in terms of creating a variety of hairstyles but they're also really fun to kind of play with as well like sometimes I just like to kind of clip them together like this because I like the noise and it's also just like a fun little motion but that's just me being weird but that's another USP for you if you're a little bit weird like I am. So like everything from the vintage cosmetic company they are super super pretty so they've got this lovely sort of like floral print pattern all over them um which is the same floral print that i have on a shower cap that i got from the vintage cosmetic company last year and also this like makeup bag that i have and i kind of like like i said previously color coordination and just coordination in general so that's why i wanted to pick these out just to like kind of match my little hair care set so these sell for $7.99 and they come in a pack of four, which again I think is a great price considering the quality and also like the aesthetic as well. You probably can get ones for cheaper, but are they going to be as pretty as these ones? Probably not. Um, yeah, like I said before, I've got some of these already. They're excellent quality. I've had them for probably about a year now and I use them quite frequently when I'm doing my hair and they're still going strong. So in case you guys like them as well, I'll link them for you in the description. So last up is this seven piece set and this is called the Sandy Sleepover Kit. And oh my gosh, guys, I'm absolutely in love with this, partially because of the name, because it's themed after Sandy from Greece and she is absolutely adorable but just because of the way that it's presented as well it's in a suitcase shaped box which is so so cute and it's got this lovely little handle at the top so you can kind of hold it like that which I just thought was like a really cute detail so inside this set you get a number of things and you're kind of spoiled for choice so there's a pair of pink slippers a pink satin headband and a matching sleep mask a pink satin pillowcase a pink satin shower cap a makeup removal cloth and a pair of fluffy pink socks so first up is this pair of lovely pink slippers which I was actually pleasantly surprised with in terms of the size so I looked at the set online and I kind of thought to myself it's a little bit weird that they haven't kind of specified the size because these could be like a size 2 or they could be like a size 11 and generally with these they kind of go for like a happy medium so I was expecting them to be like a size 5 or 6 and I thought to myself like I'm a UK size 8 because I'm quite tall so I have quite big feet so I was thinking like I'm probably gonna have to give these to one of my friends that have like smaller feet but actually when I got them out of the packaging and I put my foot in in terms of the length I have to say they did fit perfectly now in terms of the width and like the height of the I guess like strap that goes across the top um, I'm not sure if they're just made for people with wide feet. I have quite narrow feet, so actually it's probably like a me problem. But they're very, very loose in terms of the strap at the front. Also, they're really pretty to look at, but I can't lie to you guys. I won't say these are the best quality in terms of padding. Um, there is a little bit of padding in there. That is what the sole looks like. So they've got like a lovely waffle pattern, which is great in terms of grip. However, I think the padding is something that they could have considered a little bit more. Um, there's not very much of it, and the sole is actually quite thin. I don't think these are the sort of slippers that are going to last you like years and years and years. So if you're looking for a pair of longevity, maybe these aren't for you. 
but they're a really kind of cute item that you can kind of like just have and wear on occasion I think. The second thing is the lovely satin headband which I have to say is actually probably my favourite piece out of the entire set. So I was kind of a bit confused with this because I couldn't work out whether you're supposed to wear it out of the house or whether it's supposed to be worn at home as like a makeup headband. I think for me I'd probably use it as a makeup headband um, and I think it's quite handy because I like that it's kind of like made of satin. Satin and silk are two materials that I think are really kind of like kind on your hair and also your skin as well. So in terms of the design as I said before it's satin it's got this lovely sort of like subtle stripy print on it and then it's got this cute little bit at the front which I thought was really nice and it added a really cute feminine edge. Um, again it's elasticated so if you're one of the big head gang like I am then it'll probably fit you that is kind of like the maximum head width that it goes to and it's just like a really handy like beauty tool whether you're going to wear it out of the house or like style it with some of your pretty pink outfits when you're out and about. Next up is the mini sleep set so you've got the pink sleep mask and the matching pillowcase and I actually have both of these already but again I don't know if they've had a fabric upgrade but this pillowcase is definitely silkier than the one that I have. I think I mentioned this in last year's haul so I don't really wear these nightly um, because I don't think that I need to. But when it starts to get a bit lighter like it does in springtime I think they're really handy in terms of like keeping the light out when it gets light a bit too soon in the morning and also in terms of like having midday naps as well and as you guys can see it's a lovely sort of pink satin striping material which matches the headband that I showed you previously and it's got this pink piece of elastic on the back which is how you kind of like pop it over your head. The fifth item is this shower cap which is another of my faves and again I have a couple of these already so I think I've got one that is a nice floral print that I mentioned previously. This is again the lovely satin striping material that a lot of the pieces in this set have and again it's made to fit a variety of head sizes or even hair lengths or hair thicknesses. Um, I have afro hair as you guys can see um, it's kind of like in a bun at the minute but when I take it out it can get quite voluminous um, and I was kind of a bit worried when I initially bought my first shower cap from the vintage cosmetic company that it wouldn't fit but they're super super stretchy and I managed to fit it over my hair really easily. Now one thing that I love about this is that it's got this lovely little like ruffled satin edge which is a little bit darker than the pink and then when you turn it inside out it's got this lovely pink polka dot material which is waterproof and that's how it kind of like keeps your hair dry. Now these are really handy if you want to have like an at home spa day in terms of like self care that would be really fun but also for like everyday use as well so I tend to use mine if I don't want to wash my hair but obviously I want to have a shower but also I tend to use them as well when I'm washing my hair if I'm doing a deep condition. So what I tend to do is I will wash my hair and then I'll put my conditioner in and add my shower shower cap over the top and then while it's kind of like moisturizing my hair I will like shave my legs or like paint my toenails or do whatever else I need to do around the house and then I'll come back and wash the hair conditioner out. Next up is the makeup removal cloth and I have I think three of these already. Um, I think one of them came in a set that I got from the vintage cosmetic company last year but I love them so much that I actually bought a couple more when I was away on holiday because I saw them in a shop and I must admit when I first saw them I was a little bit skeptical in terms of how effective they would be but I've actually found that they work really really well so the idea is that you wet them and then you kind of like swipe them over your face to remove your makeup and then you just continue with your like skincare routine as usual and I'm really happy that this came because like I said I think I've got a total of three of them now but I feel like with these you can never have too many like I find myself constantly running out of them um, and it's just nice to have an extra one just to have on hand. Last up is the pink fluffy socks. Now I wish I could pass you guys these through the screen so that you can feel how soft they are. They are gorgeously soft and I tend to get cold quite easily like even in the summer if it's kind of like warm. Um, I might not necessarily wear pyjamas to bed but I find that my feet get really cold. So I'm always on the lookout for a pair of fluffy socks. These are really great for the winter but also like if you get cold like me easily in the summer and springtime as well. Um, there's not really much to say about them. They're again made of a lovely sort of fluffy soft fleece material. Um, they fit really well. I'm a UK size 8 like I said previously. Um, I think they're quite stretchy so I think they'd fit for maybe like a size three to a size nine and um, if your feet are exceptionally small or exceptionally big then you might struggle in terms of the fit a little bit but I think they fit a variety of sizes which is really nice. So that was the final item in the set like I said before it comes with seven pieces and it sells for $39.99. Now I'm not 100% sure if to me it's worth $39.99. I was trying to weigh it up and work out like what it would cost me to get all of these pieces individually and I couldn't quite work it out because some of the pieces are kind of like exclusive pieces that they don't otherwise sell on the website. I don't know that I would necessarily have picked out all of these things myself as individual pieces but it is nice to get as a set really beautifully presented. So one thing that I was thinking is that it would make a really nice kind of like I don't know gift if you've got like a spring or summer birthday coming up and I'll link that for you guys in the description so that you can get it for either someone special in your life or just for you. So that was everything. Thank you so much to the Vintage Cosmetic Company for gifting me all of these lovely pieces and I really hope you guys have enjoyed seeing them too. If so then please like, comment and let me know which is your favourite piece and subscribe to my channel as well. Also follow me on Instagram and head over to my blog shewalkstore.co.uk where I post all things style and substance. Have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Thinking of life. 